Hello Night City, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. I'm Double D and we are in the process of um, finishing off the game. Right now we are waiting for our future girlfriend to send us some kind of um, message. But she doesn't like us anymore, I think. What are you? What? Okay, I'm sorry. What is my? Why is my melee attack? So she d didn't like it one bit that I. So what? So deal with him. No, ain't got time now. Panem. V, do you have a moment? Sure. Need to talk. I mean, no longer a moment. Can you come by the camp? All right, I'm on my I way. No on my way. Phew, thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better Let to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. Where are all the... Oh, what? Deja vu? I've been in this place before, higher than the streets. What? Why is everyone here so skimpy? Okay, good. Let's go um to uh, the Elder Caldos. If we can find them. I'm pretty sure that's uh, the right camp. If not, whoops, let's see. Getting our girl safe and sound. That's the right one. Okay, where is my Panem? Panem! Yeah, let's go. Panem! Panem! Um. That looks weird. What the? Yo, hello, hello. How does he send me? That is my home. That is my home, boys. Exactly, that tent is my home, boys. I got a home here. Perfect. You're not Good. I don't want any more surprises. Besides, we look good aware. V, you're here. Sure. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that military convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job we came here to do? Wow. Seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country. Junk. Somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Thank Carol, you. and Bob also on board. Good. What the? Yeah, no? What's the plan? We plan to grab the basilisk how? 
Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. She loves me, I know that. Double jump! Whee! Whee! I love the double jump. I should have gotten that much sooner. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Oh, we are in America. Oh, that's nice. What's you up, boys? to get Saul on board again. No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? I'm gonna get involved. Mm. Okay, I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Sure. No First, problem. we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? I'm riding with. Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. Excellent. She loves that. She loves a uh, yay sayer. Oh, we're riding. Oh. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. Mm. But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Goodbye, boys. I'll be taking her with me. Hello, Pedro. All right, boys. Let's see the last few episodes. I'm pretty sure we can end Cyberpunk by the 50th episode. If we're good. What's up, love? Were you waiting for something? Want a good luck kiss? Um. Well, um, I love sitting here with you and all, but you could talk a little to me. Pan Am, one of your dreads is a little... All right. Let's go. Nobody's going to notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. Oh, come on. A good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Right. And Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Well. Finding the symptoms will cure the, the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. <sighs> but I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I don't remember that. Oh, she would have loved him, yeah. Oh, just imagine, if we hadn't had uh, Johnny, you could have just done something with, with Jackie. We have arrived. Jackie was such a nice character. Well... We got Keanu Reeves though, so that's fine. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Oh, sorry. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, 
Then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Yeah. What do we do? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Let's go. Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me too. Now we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Good, let's go. I can open everything. All right. Um, I'll just go in first. Come on, that was quick. Yeah, I'm quick. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Well, um, not at everything though. So, come on, my lady. Hello, my lady. Hello, my hearty. The stairs, it is then. Hello, my rock town gal. Oh, I need to get my thing ready. My, 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 my. I can't use the sniper rifle. That is a shame. <laughs> I need three um, things there real quick. Upgrades. Oh my god, upgrading it gets so much XP. <gasps> that is amazing. The Melorian Arms, that is um Chinese weapon, yeah. That actually gives a good amount of XP. Yeah, but the green ones again. Well, it is what it is. Um, crunch damage. I just uh, got very lucky there. Um, and upgraded further. No. Good. Now we got a uh, a good tech snipe. Is a tech sniper, right? Yeah. Nice boys, let's go up, Benham. Okay, I shouldn't go so fast. Benham. I've always been fond of trains and the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you can set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply. Hopeful. <gasps> okay, here we are. Um, no misclick at all. Carol, what are we looking for? Punch cards. What cards? <laughs> Would you help me look? Yeah. Sure thing. I'm on it. Not here. Hmm. Well, well, well. Got something. Good job. Thank you. I actually want to um, change the, the site as well because the site is kind of. Mm. Don't have a sight on me. Can I craft a sight? Um, I didn't think so, actually. Wow, that's. Control. We have a card. What now? You have to put it in the reader. Well, V, the card in the reader. Whew. 
Here goes nothing. Yeah, nice. Come look. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Sure. What do you want to tell me? What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish because I asked you to help me, but. Why are you doing this? Um. Because it's important to you. But is that all? I. Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I. I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. Oh. And I would not want to cut this up. So far, so good. So far, so good, champ. <laughs> because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Oh, that's some bullshit. Don't feel any impulse one way or another? Shame. Don't feel any impulse at all right now? Shame. I was hoping you did. I do. But I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. No. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. <laughs> I'm getting all giddy. There's something smoking back there, by the way. Let's go. Convoy, got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Hmm. Why do I think that wraiths will not play nice? Oop. Did you teleport? You know where Panem is? No idea. Is there a champion in need of any see tell I'm looking for her. Sure. Well do man. Oh that's kinda that's sweet. That's kinda cozy, I like that. There she's there she is. Where are you? Look what I can do! Oh I can't double jump. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Let me let me sit. Hurry up and wait. Hurry up and wait then. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Don't you? Ah, was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contexts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Yeah. 
Yes, let's drink. What's up? Um, I don't want to get some shut eye. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. To Scorpion, let's go. And to Jackie. Oh, oh. Huh. No. You don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your ass oh. into the basilisk, huh? That's different. <laughs> yeah, sure it is. Completely different. I'll see you once you're on board. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Grown kind of cold out here. Aww. Not true, but this is nice. Oh. Catch some shut eye with me. That is kind of sweet. I'll just lie here a while, by your side. Gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library. There's no stars, by the way. Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Those are my eyes. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Good night, Ben. What a sweet. That was sweet, boys. We got Pan Am. Already in love. We are in love as well. Since episode one, by the way. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's, Let's ride, B. All right. There's a storm. Let's do this. Why are you standing around? Do something. Mr. Simos. <laughs> He's a mighty companion. Oh no. Let's go boys. Let's get the panzer. I don't see anything, by the way. All right, she's moving. Get her up to speed. I, you're driving. We don't see anything, by the way. Is that what is supposed to happen? Sandstorm. How? I don't think the sandstorm is supposed to happen, boys. Just can I? Let me out. Hell yeah. 
One second. Easy. Stop! Stop honking! Get in the vehicle, okay. I'll get in the vehicle then. What on it? Okay, let's go! Ready to roll. Right, I'm pretty sure the... the, the The sandstorm wasn't uh, in the. Fuck! It worked! <laughs> of course it did! Just as I said it would! Yeah, nice. We can skip the ride. Let's skip it. Yeah. Oh my god. The horn. Oh my god, boys. So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine, go right ahead. In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Well, you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnical, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Yeah, sure. Time, I want these trucks out of my sight. Yeah, and same. Basilisk, can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seems to still be in fine working order. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm Hi, sure man. I will. So you better expect that call. Yeah, I will. You wait. Take care. Oh my god, it's silence. Oh, thank god. All right, boys. Um, the sandstorm is upon us, and this will end the episode as well. Holy damn, that sandstorm is not cool. Really, don't know if you um hear anything I'm saying. I cannot even sleep here. It 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 just works, boys. It just works. So, what we'll do now is... Oh my gosh. That horn is annoying. So, we go to our journal. And... Then go back one and skip the time, which we cannot do. So, I gu I'm guessing we'll fast travel somewhere. Where nothing is um, so loud. Oh my gosh, boys. 
Having that in the background was was disconcerting. All right. Okay, ev there's a sensum everywhere, right? Yeah. There is a sensum everywhere. That is not English. Yeah, but the sandstorm just came. Well, let's uh, sleep for 24 hours and uh, we'll end the episode. So, um, I'm pretty sure uh, the next two quests will be the end of Penham's quest line. Maybe? I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a sub if you want to get next time. On the WD Writer channel, every 60 video, it's having a live stream at 9 and English video like this one for you guys to enjoy. Really hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode if you wish to come back. Um, leave a comment below, I'll definitely answer, and yeah, bye bye!